During this virtual macart lesson, we are going to be creating these super bright rainbow daisies. Now for this creation, I am using a small sheet of drawing paper. I have a sketching pencil, an eraser, and my rainbow pencil colors. Now to begin our gorgeous rainbow daisies, we need the centers of our flowers first, so we know where they're going to be positioned on the page. So our first daisy is going to be up pretty high. So find the center of your page, roughly here. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to come down a little bit and across to the left a little bit here. And we're going to just lay down a little circle. That is the middle of my first daisy. Now, I want you to sketch lightly for yours. I'm making mine a little bit heavier, a little bit darker, just so you guys can see them, okay? Keep your lines lovely and light so you have lots of opportunity to move things around and take them away if you need to. Now I've got the center of my daisy in, I'm gonna start putting my petals in. Now my petals, I'm gonna do some larger ones in front and then I'm gonna go back around and add some that are behind. So starting here, reaching off out, okay, folding over. My petal gets a little bit narrower as it comes down to the flower here as well. So I'm gonna go around just adding some nice little shapes, they're not all the same, all the petals are different. If you look at a daisy up close, the petals are all a little bit crinkly, a little bit all over the place. And that's what we're going for. Try and get them roughly the same length. They can be a little shorter or a little longer, but roughly the same length for each of your little flower petals here. So let's go around, so this one's got a bit of a flat bottom to it. Now, the trick to getting a really good daisy is don't look too hard at what I'm doing. Once you've got a couple of nice looking petals on yours, just run with what you have. You've got the length, you've got the shape, you've got the size, and just work with what you have on your paper. Don't get too preoccupied with what I'm doing. There we go. Yeah, so I've got some big ones in. Now I'm gonna have some kind of um, coming behind. So this one's coming out from the side here. Going down, maybe a little one there sticking behind as well with a flat bottom to it. And then this one here, it's gonna come down in there. And then I might do two here, filling this shape there. So you can see how I'm getting lots of like overlapping petals here. This one's gonna have a bit of a rounded edge to it there, with a little one sticking behind. There we go, that is my first daisy completely sketched in. Now I'd like to have a second daisy on mine. Now you can absolutely just have the one daisy if you would like. I'm gonna do another one a little bit lower, pointing to the side. This one's gonna be a little more challenging to draw. Focus on just one if you would like. You can absolutely do another daisy that's looking straight at you, just like this one. It's your piece of work, do whatever you would like. If you want to do a daisy that's tilting to the side a little bit, what we're going to do, find the middle of this one, come across and down. We don't want our daisies to be at the same height. This one's gonna be a little bit lower. And I'm doing a little disc, a little oval sitting on its side here, like that. That is the middle of daisy number two. Now this one is going to be behind this one. So any petals that reach out and touch are going behind, not in front. It's very, very important little bit of information there. Now, first of all, I'm gonna do some shorter petals that are folding away. So as I come up, they're gonna have a lengthened back to them like that. You're not seeing the whole petal. As I come around, you are going to see more of the petal. So I've got a longer length of the petal there. Same here. So we're trying to capture a totally different angle this time. So these ones are going away and folding. So imagine my hand is the petal. At the back of the flower here, the petals are folding away like my hand, so you're only seeing this section. As it comes to the petals at the side, if I turn my hand, you're seeing the side of the petal. See how my hand makes a lovely flower petal? So I'm gonna continue that all the way around. Now the petals are coming out towards us in front here. So 
they're kind of hanging down a little bit. Let's have one behind there. Looking good. Keep leaning back. Take a good look at your flower. Do you need to change anything? Are you creating the illusion that your flower is to the side? If not, just stop and have a look at your petals. What can you do? I think I need to lengthen this one here. I'm going to have that coming down a little bit more. This is why we sketch in pencil. Very easy to change things. And now my petals are going to be kind of hiding behind this one. I'm going to do a nice long one that reaches out here. Goes behind. And a little one there. I like that a lot. All right, make any little adjustments that you need to. I'm just leaning back and looking at my daisy, changing the shape of one or two of them. I'm going to use my eraser now to take out any lines that I don't want. There we are, beautiful. Now my flower petals are floating in the air. My flowers are just floating. They need some stems coming down. So I'm going to follow down from the center of my flower and do a lovely little stem little chunky that drifts down and out of my page and then this one is at an angle so that one's going to follow down like that and maybe have them crossing over one behind the other to make it look a little more interesting done let's get some color on these guys now i'm doing rainbow flowers let's start with red let's just work our way through the rainbow so i've got a lovely bright red here and i'm going to start with my reds up here. Now I'm going to be very clever with how I add my colors. Yes, they're going to be rainbows, but the petals are going to gently change. The shades of the color are going to change. So you see a smooth, almost like color wheel going around the outside. So it's going to be rainbow all the way around. I'm going to start with this petal here. Now every time I do my pencil strokes, I'm following the shape of the petal, whipping it down to the very end. So this is my red one, I'm pressing a little bit harder. So a lighter background, but I'm adding a couple of dark strokes over the top. So that's red. Now this one I'm also going to do a little bit of red on, but I'm pressing a little bit lighter. This is going to be my orangey petal. And I'm also going to do a little bit of red on this one as well, very lightly. This will eventually be the purple blending back into the red again. There we are. So it's going to drift gently over into the orange on this petal. There we are. So can you see how I'm doing an area of red on my flower? So I have a nice bright red that's going to start to drift. On this side it's going to go to an orange, back on this side eventually when I work my way around it's going to go to purple. Now I've got two daisies, why not do the same thing? While I'm working red on this one, I might as well splash some red on this one as well. Now I don't want the red to be in the same areas, so I'm gonna go around and do red. I think I'm gonna start red here, down here on this one. So a nice dark outer edge, couple of dark lines coming down with a lighter pressure over the top. Now remember again, I'm going to have a little bit of red on the ones that are next to it. There we go. And I'm going to take, I've got a slightly darker red shade here. You can use just one shade. Doesn't matter what kind of pencil colors you have. The more different shades you layer up, the more depth you will create. So it's totally up to you how much you want to bring these flowers to life. There we go. Now I'm going to drift into my orange, my orange shade. So very lightly over here. I'm going to work on top of the red and start pulling it away. Now you can see I've got a smooth blend from the red over into the orange. And then over onto the next petal. Doing a nice light shade of orange all over this one. And then pressing a little bit harder with some nice wispy lines that shoot down my petals there being lovely and bold with my colors. And then that orange is gonna creep onto the next one as well. Same. 
same here. There we go. So as it blends around, it gets a little bit lighter. So I'm pressing nice and hard as I drift over the petals. The orange blends out and gets lighter. So the color will drift away into the next color. So here I've got yellow. So again, I'm going to go over the orange a little bit. So pressing nice and hard on my lovely yellow now. See how it's brightening up as we go around. Gorgeous. I love yellow. It's probably my most favorite pencil color because of how vibrant you can make that gorgeous color. Nice and bright. On to the next one as well. See how I've covered up my half of my flower here using just three colors, red, orange, and yellow. We are going to have some beautiful looking rainbow flowers. Keep layering those colors up. Now I'm going to drift into my green shade next. So again, I'm starting kind of on top of my yellowy area here very lightly. See this petal's got a little bit of orange on one side, a little bit of green on the other. And I'm going to drift into a brighter green. There we go. And over on to the next one. Oh, I'm liking these. I think they're looking beautiful. Be bold with your color. Do not be afraid to put some pressure on that pencil. You want it to stand out. You want everyone to see these beautiful rainbow flowers. So make those colors scream at people. So bold. People cannot possibly walk past your work without taking a good look at these gorgeous flowers because they grab people's attention where they are so bright. Beautiful. Now the green is getting lighter and lighter as we drift away. Now I do want to jump back into the green. I'm using a darker green here and I'm gonna just shoot a couple of darker lines going down this one petal. A little bit on the other one, just to show a little bit of fun texture. Using the very point of the pencil here to get a little bit of fun detail in there. So I'm kind of showing like a two-tone petal going on. There we go, lovely. And same on this one over here. Whatever I do on one flower, I'm gonna do the same on the other. Beautiful. Just making sure they drift. The colors need to blend from one petal over onto the next. Then into my blue. Nice light blue to begin with. we go gently blending them together working my way over so the green is coming together with the blue here creating a lovely blend and that blue is going to get lighter as it goes onto other petals because I've got a lovely dark blue to blend into and then back into the purple and red Pressing a little bit harder with the light blue here over the top to get some different streaks of color. We are going to do a lovely dark outline on here later on to get it to stand out even more. But right now we just want our rainbow bursts of color all the way around the outside. Gorgeous job, guys. Keep going. It's a lot of work, but isn't it satisfying seeing all these rainbow colors pile on here? Beautiful. There we go. Into the dark blue next we've got our dark blue that's going over the top so i'm going to rotate my flowers to make a slightly easier angle to work from and i'm going to start laying down my dark blue here on this one. Oh, i like that beautiful and then just add a few dark blue lines at the base of this one 
Follow up around the petal a little bit. Streak it a little bit in my green. And then taking the dark blue over onto the next one. A little bit lightly because this is going to be blending into the purple. So I'm doing it darker on one side and lighter on the other to allow that transition blend. There we go. And then same on these guys over here. So a little bit of dark detail down at the root of the petal. Into that nice dark blue here. Good, we're just trying to get that nice smooth blend from one to the other. Rather than showing one color very stop extremely abruptly and then another color starts, we're trying to show that smooth transition from one into the other. We can go back in with our colors at the end. Any areas that you see a really sharp color transition, we can most definitely blend that out a little bit more. And then into the purple. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that purple shade. That's explosive right there. And then over onto the last petal that doesn't have any color on it. Getting a nice base coat on first. Over back onto the petal that has red and you can see how the purple and the red are blending. Gorgeous. All right, there's my base coat. Now I can use the point to start adding a little bit of texture over the top. So darker, more concentrated purple down towards the root there where the petal joins on to the middle of the flower. Now remember that sharp transition I was telling you about where one color finishes and another color starts and you see a sharp line in between. I have that here. I do not want that. So here's an example of what I would do here. Take my blue and bring it over onto the purple flower a little bit more. Take off the pressure in the middle and allow that color to gently blend out there like that and then go in with my purple little circle motion filling in those little white divots that you see there I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my pencil I still want that same lighter shade I just want to lay down more pencil to try and hide that little white tooth there so I'm building up the purple on the surface beautiful same over here get that nice smooth blend Yep, I'd say we've achieved some lovely rainbow flowers here. Now I'm going to go back into my red because I want to blend the purple in a little bit more to the red on the other side. There we go. Lovely. Now let's just finish off this one down here with that same technique with the purple. And there we go. How's everybody's flowers looking? Beautiful, I hope. Okay, what we're going to do is add a nice bright yellow middle to our flowers. So pure yellow to begin with. Circle motion. Let's just get that light bulb switched on. Ding! Perfect. And this one. There we go. And I'm going to do a little bit of yellow down the stem here. Pressing nice and hard. Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is take my orange here and I want to focus on having a slightly darker orange around the outside of my little circle shape here. As I come into the middle, I'm taking off the pressure. So pressing hard on the outside, take off the pressure. Now I'm tickling the paper as I come in. The lighter I press, the more the yellow shows through. The harder I press, the less yellow shows through. So I'm getting a really cool tunnel effect. So the light is coming towards us and the dark is around the outside. This one a little different because it's pointing in this direction. 
So I want to focus my dark around the bottom edge here. Same again, pressing hard, really hard, taking off the pressure as I drift away across the flower. Done, lovely. Okay, back on those stems. So let's figure out where our light source is coming from. Here is my eraser. That's my light. My light is pouring down, hitting the right hand side of my stem. So I'm going to start building up some color using my green on the other side of my stem. There we are. Same on this one. So left hand side of my stem has a nice bit of light green and I'm leaving more yellow showing on the side that's closest to my sunlight here. Now dark green, let's enhance that even more. So with my dark green, beautiful, building up a little bit of dark on one side of my stem. I can absolutely do my stem one flat color if I would like to, but I think we can do a little bit better. We spent all this time creating these gorgeous rainbow flowers. Let's bring our stems to life as well. So same again, coming down this side here. Now, remember, one stem goes behind. So one is in front and one is behind. Remember that when you're adding your color. You don't want to cross them one on top of the other going the wrong way. That's gonna get a little bit confusing. Okay, now my petals here are like an umbrella and they're going to be creating a little bit of a shadow as well. So I'm gonna make my green a little bit thicker at the top here on this one. Maybe a tiny bit on this one. So my little petals here are creating a little bit of a shadow. I'm gonna straight line going across. There we are. Don't they look beautiful? But they're not done yet. Nope. We are going to use black to do a lovely professional illustrated outline. Now this outline will be thin, a very, very, very thin line. And the way we keep our line thin is by keeping our pencil sharp. If my pencil starts to get dull, my line gets thicker and thicker. So take as many pencil sharpening breaks as you need. Your work will definitely thank you for it. So here we go. Do remember your work is not glued to the table. Spin it around and make an easy angle for yourself to work from. Rather than twisting your arm around like this to get to a little tricky bit, just spin your work around. You'll see my spinning around and around to do this. So actually I'm going to start with the center of my flower. So around the outside, where the orange touches the color, I'm gonna chisel my pencil back and forth. Oh, look at that glorious outline. Pop, do you see how the middle has just come forward? We don't want it just there. Let's take that all the way around our flower now. First of all, I'm gonna focus on just the outside edge. I can add a couple little lines going down through my flower at the end, if I decide I even want to do them because it looks pretty glorious just the way that it is. So short, sharp pencil strokes. Make sure your pencil stays lovely and sharp for this.
there we go. I've done a very basic outline around my flowers. Now I'm going to bring my flowers to life with a little bit more detail. This is optional. Watch me do mine first. If you like it, add it to yours. If you don't, leave yours the way that it is. Art is that simple. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, change it. So what I'm going to do is start right in the middle of my flower here where I have the center and I'm going to do a couple very thin little lines that shoot down my flower petals here. Very lightly, just a little bit of detail. Just to show that kind of crinkly texture on the petal. Again, you do not need to add this if you don't want to. I would recommend being very, very minimal. If you want to build up some shadow between your petals, so the ones that are further away might be a little darker where the, the petals on top are casting some shadows. Be very minimal because the shadow will take over your beautiful colors. And this piece of work is all about those screaming rainbow colors. So don't hide them. Now on this one as well, very gently pressing hard as I start and then whip Lift the pencil as you come away. Follow the shape of the petal. I'm following that curve as it goes around. Add a little bit at a time. When you're done, just lean back and look at what you've created. Do you want a little bit more? Do you want to make your lines longer? A little bit at a time. Now what I want to do is just a couple little stipples on my flower, kind of low down in the middle, just to show that little bit of texture in the center of my daisy here. Not doing a huge amount of detail. There we go, on one and then the same on the other. So where my petal is the darkest around the outside, that's where you're going to be able to see a little bit more detail. As I drift up to the brighter, lighter center, my little spots get a little further spaced apart and then drift into nothing, just back into the light again. And there we go. We have two gorgeously bright, dazzling rainbow flowers that just scream, look at me. You can't possibly not see these flowers. They are so incredibly bright. Now, if you enjoy doing this fun flower class, have a go at coming up with your own style. Try a totally different flower or a totally different subject. I think a butterfly would look absolutely gorgeous with this same blended technique on the wings. Whatever you choose to do, remember the most important thing is that you have fun with what you are doing. Now, I would absolutely love to see these colorful creations, so please share them in the comments of Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. You can also upload to the student portal in Virtual Macart.